Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back this time with a guide on the otter and everything you need to know about this fantastic little creature. Now this is definitely an essential tame no matter what map you're playing and I recently did a guide on the top 5 dinosaurs that you should tame before level 50. Even though the otter didn't make it onto the list, it's still an essential creature and I'm going to show you how to effectively tame one my way and all of the abilities, some of them you may not even know about. So first off, let's just check my statistics out while we've got Harry Otter here. As you can see my hyperthermal insulation is currently at 422, my heat insulation at 829. Let's just throw Harry down here. As you can see, these are my normal stats without wearing the Otter. Most importantly at 176 for the hyperthermal insulation. Now to increase that effectiveness, you want to be pumping melee damage. I know that seems a little bit strange giving it melee damage to increase its insulation, but it's true and I'm just going to show you because we got 7 points on Harry here. If we put him back on and check out my stats now, you can see hyperthermal insulation at 455, hyperthermal insulation at 895. It's gone up and by pumping melee, you're going to get a little bit more insulation. I think more importantly it protects you from the cold and you just need to remember that at least if you're in a hot place it's not going to do too much to affect you against the heat but it's not going to work against you in the heat. So there you go, as you can see my stats going up just by wearing this otter and pumping melee damage will increase both of them stats. So that's reason number one while you need to be taming yourself an otter. Now. One of the other things that they can do and I not a lot of people know about is that they've also got the ability to wear a hat. I'm just going to put the funky little top hat skin on him. And the reason you may want to be doing this is because we can use the otter for fishing. And by giving him a good flak helmet, we're actually going to be protecting him from them piranhas. And uh, yeah, just giving him a little bit of extra armor. And well, of course, I mean giving him the top hat, I mean really, really just, just finish off the otter. Now, in here I've been taming some more and we've been doing some breeding and I've got some mu more mutations and hey, what's going on here? The nanny's on the sleep. I pay you good honey to look after my otters. What are you doing sleeping, girl? Right, <laughs> okay. Moving on to reason number two that you want to grab the otter is it's the only creature in the game that can carry artifacts. Now if you're doing cave runs, why just grab one artifact when you can kill two birds with one stone? So just to prove that I'm going to grab another one and the amount of artifacts that they can carry is directly related to the amount of weight. As you can see each one of these artifacts is weighing 5.0 and we could potentially carry around about 10 with Harry here and that is another unique ability that only the otter can do. So if you're doing cave runs you really want to take an otter with you and you can kill two birds with one stone and grab multiple artifacts. So the only two statistics that you really want to pump on the otter is weight and melee damage. Now we're going to show you the most effective way to tame one of these creatures and I'm going to need an Argent to do that. Is that one? Yeah, there's one there. Okay, so I've just come across to the island map on the cluster server that we're running here. Uh, details down below if you'd like to join by the way. But uh, I'm going to use the Argentavis in order to grab this. now. If you get too close to the water you will get dismounted but you can scoop these little guys up in the talons so just come down and there we go we've got the otter in the talons but the Argentavis has the ability to pick up a creature in its mouth so I'm just going to put him down here and pick him up in the beak because we need to do this in order to make this a really easy way to tame the creature. And looks like there's some raptors coming in for me here. So I'm just going to take this otter somewhere a little bit safer and we'll grab a fish. And I think I'll know where I'll head. 
So let me introduce you to the Ichthy. This is the Devil Bird, as I've called it, and it's the Sky version of the Pegamastic. Except it has a unique ability to be able to go fishing. And you think, well, I can just go and grab a fish easy enough, James. Why do I need one of these to grab the fish? Well, this creature is in fact the only way to get the definitive kibble for the otter. As you can see here, it's just grabbed me a fish. And the fish is plucked up. Has a golden aura around it. So here we go, devil bird's just going to drop this right in front of me. Now this is why you need the Argentavis. Of course we've still got the otter in its beak. It's not affected, it's not scared and we can just feed the fish right from the Argy's beak making this a very very easy tame. So if I can just reach it, I'm on a little bit of a slope here so there we go just feed here. Now depending on the size of the fish we almost got a, a tame there but depending on your settings and the size of the fish uh, as to how effective that's going to be but it's going to take one more of those golden fish and we're going to have a taming effectiveness of pretty much close to 100% and you can use regular kibble as well but like I say this preferred kibble comes from the devil bird or ichthy and not only do they bring you fish, if I was to cut this fish up I would also get a little bit of prime fish meat back so it's definitely another way of getting prime fish meat so one more feed on this otter and we'll have it tamed up so there's no need to be following it around the water and waiting just use the RG in combination and the ichthy there we go easy in fact, that's what I'm going to call this otter. Easy. So lastly, let me show you one of the little secret lesser known abilities that Easy can do here. Now, just like the Igthi, it can go out and it can do some fishing. And as you can see, the saber tooth salmon are attacking it. So that's why it's good that you can stick a hat on these guys to protect them. As you can see, He's just bought us a little treat. They can actually grab silica pearls. Now, not only that, there's also a slim chance that they will bring you a black pearl. I generally find, you know, sort of one in five chance, depending on what you're fishing for. And if you're fishing in the swamp with piranhas, then I recommend giving the little guy a flak helmet of some type with them. Um, just to give him that armor rating so see what easy brings us back this time it looks like it's gone out and got a coal there and not only does it bring you the fish meat back but have you bought us a black pearl well not this time easy but we'll keep trying and see how many attempts it takes us to get a black pearl okay perhaps fourth time lucky let's try it again now this is another reason why you want to be giving them a little bit of armor and using the flak helmet perhaps if you've got a decent one because as you can see the saber toothed salmon can fight back and easy here is only currently a level 10 so quite a low level one okay what have you got for us this time easy and this time he's bought us a black pearl so there you have it the otter and all its unique abilities I've shown you the most effective easy way to tame one and you should certainly grab one of these at your earliest opportunity now another thing you need to think about is if you're going to try and complete this game and I've shown you that in a step-by-step -step video basically over 29 videos long we completed the game Going into that final fight against the Alpha Overseer I had 24 points of fortitude you're going to be wearing a primitive version of the tech armor and you're going to be under a debuff without this little guy helping you out. Hey, trike, you're spoiling my outro. Shaking me around. So that's something to think about if you're going to be going into that tech cave. Bring the otter with you because that fight can go on over a little bit of time and the otter will make all the difference and you want to give yourself every advantage in that fight. The otter is certainly an essential tame. 
I hope you enjoyed that one. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more art guides and content. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.